Huh? I said I was gonna say cut through there, so you're orange. Bro, I know how to drive a <laughs> car. You better hold the damn. You're on a full. Take your seatbelt. You're on skinny. <laughs> check it out guys before we dive into today's action with this awesome dark horse i want to bring to your attention that we are now partnered up with dreamgiveaway.com go check out the website use promo code xander at checkout for tons of extra free entries guys it is cheap to enter this giveaway they've got a ton of different options two shelby's you can win a lightning and a dark horse a Maki, Roush Trucks, the list goes on. Go check out the website, guys. It's cheap to enter, but if you want those extra entries, make sure you use the promo code Xander at checkout. Visit the links down below in the video description. Also, the first pinned comment down below in this video. Get entered to win. Again, check out the website, dreamgiveaway.com, promo code Xander. Get your free entries, guys. It's cheap to enter. I don't want you to miss out on some of these giveaways. These things are hot. There's some really cool cars in here. Go check out the website. All right, on with the video. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are in the great state of New Jersey. Here visiting my buddy Stang Mode over here in his blue giveaway 2024 Mustang GT. Basically, you can enter to win this car right over here. It ends in a couple of months. I will link everything down below. Somebody's going to get it. Could be you. But we're here with his dark horse and my good buddy Colton. Now, I have a 2024 Mustang GT. It's a manual transmission. We've been doing some suspension work with Steeda to make that car kind of feel like this. Maybe. Truth be told, I want to know am i taking the right direction to have a non-dark horse feel like this i don't have magna ride this one does this is on a drag pack and we are in new jersey and the streets are uh i don't less think that, than, yeah. less than perfect less plus also this has the 10 speed transmission that has been reworked for 2024 all right real quick though what do you think you're an enthusiast at the end of the day absolutely and, uh you don't just sell them you drive them i ship all over the country yeah. it doesn't matter i don't care where you're at if you want a good deal i got you the other thing so as you guys know alex had he had wanted to get a dark horse in the first place wasn't sure that the availability of dark horses is obviously kind of limited and it, it's it's tough to kind of get one you know in the end we set it on a mustang gt because i wanted to really tear up the suspension and make it my own not really tear it up in a bad way but just kind of you know add my own recipe to the mix yep but this is all factory people say that this is really good like we're here to experience absolutely and now how good did ford do with this car and i'm gonna talk about the transmission tuning because man it's a difference this car does have aw exhaust it's on a well drag pack pr catch can and it's got canon air filters and that's about it everything else is stock all right guys 2024 mustang dark horse this thing is a step above what we have but i want to know is it really worth like the ten thousand plus dollars for the upgrade to the dark horse these cars are getting hard to find the mustang gt they both have their pros and cons i have a 24 mustang and we're going to directly compare just my thought against the two cars is this something that you might want to drive is this something you might want to buy if you find one to be determined but let's hop in the car go for a little bit of a drive but first let's fire up the ignition and hear how this all new awe exhaust upgrade sounds i've got a 24 mustang so this feels very homey to me uh, very familiar i do like that everything is kind of blocked out in here so all of the trim is like this anthracite matte black kind of look and it looks just amazing i mean it suits the name dark horse aside from that like the instrument clustered and all of that is pretty much the same so we've got a little bit of a power increase in this car now he's got the k and air filters and he's got the aw uh, exhaust in the back so a little bit more power and i think there's some dyno 460 and some change to the tire so it's mm -hmm. definitely stout and these things in my experience do get faster with mileage which is 
interesting and a little bit different than maybe S550, at least that I'm used to. I chose to go with the manual transmission and the MT82 is better. Now, if you go dark horse, you get the Tremec, which is like the, just, uh, you know, the best thing out there. I mean, it's amazing. But the 10 speed has always been really good, but along the years, Ford has, uh, things that they could have improved upon I would agree like the mm -hmm. transmission learning and the hunting for gears all of that has been solved so we're gonna put it to the test we're gonna do a little drive and I'm gonna try to see if I can translate through voice and on camera how I feel about the car because I'm an enthusiast I've owned a ton of Mustangs like five S550s and two S650s at this point you know and um, there's a lot to talk about so let's put her in drive in our new revised 10 speed which has got a little bit of a tuning tweak compared to the 24 mustang gt mm -hmm. okay so things are a little bit more special in the dark horse put it into probably sport mode i don't have magnaride but i do I have Sita adjustable dampers and dual rate springs which are very aggressive and they feel amazing so i don't know how's it going to compare to this let's find out visually looking at everything the Alcantara the blue stitching um, it, uh, this kind of carbon fiber look all over the dash and then the anthracite finish they have to all of the what would be crunk trim just makes this thing the dark horse feel like the name suggests here we go feels that, that, the transmission is way better I've been in the performance package GT with the 10 already for 24. It feels similar, but it's compared to an S550, guys, this is Ford fixed it. I feel like Ford did a really good job. Doesn't hunt for gears anymore. I feel like it's faster. The downshifts are way quicker. The paddles. Yep. So let's try it. So it's just downshifts. Second gear, we're gonna hit a little bit of a hit. Click, you hear it, and it's shifting. The S550, there's like a two second delay. So Ford definitely fixed it for uh, 2024. These cars aren't tunable yet, but everything in them is amped up so much so that you almost, for a lot of people, don't want to change it. 60% to 70% are gonna leave the car alone, honestly. And we're middle full. Feels good, and that, that shifts. You got the I wouldn't even near redlining if freaking <laughs> just went ahead and upshifted. Mm. That was nice. It's like I read my mind. This is not like dual clutch transmission fast, but we're in the right direction. Man, this is good. This is really good. So I purposely, for this year, 24, wanted the manual. The MT82 is a little bit different for 24, but... Uh, did I? Did I screw up? And buy the... Should I have bought the auto? I've, I've had a bunch of 10 or 80s, and I've had a bunch of MT82s, and they're both different in the S650. They both feel different. It also depends on what you're gonna gear the, the car towards. You know, obviously, this build that you're doing this time is going to be more towards road coursing um, and time attack type stuff. Yeah, my, my red one, we're gonna be building it for uh, turn-based handling and stuff like that, aside from just straight line speed. And don't get me wrong, you know, a 10 speed, you can do it with two. It's it's definitely a better option if you're gonna go towards that to go towards the manual. Um, but because of the mods that you're gonna have to do to this and the transmission and stuff like that that you're gonna have to do to make sure it stays cool for, you know, your sessions um, and all that kind of stuff, and make sure it stays together. So for road racing, and what this car is kind of built for, the manual might be the transmission of choice because you get to experience the car. You get to drive the car. Absolutely. Right? You get to roll your own gears. And it's you get more, to feel the car better, fun, in all fairness. Engaging. You know, and that's kind of what I wanted with my new S650. It's really good. Really enjoying it. Oh, yeah. There we go. Jeez. Get next to him. You got a Mustang GT, I got a dark horse. Come on. He said that you got a you Mustang got the GT, base model. but he got, got a dark the horse. Upgrade. You want to go? these cars your sales guy 
right? Generally but you're, but speaking, you're also an enthusiast and you own, if own Mustangs, you own the new Bamba. Yep. I've owned like a million Mustangs. In your opinion though, do you think this is worth the upgrade? Look at that shift. Look at them shifts, man. On point, son. I'm impressed. So if I'm looking for a Mustang, this is my philosophy, okay? We know Mustang GTs have gotten more expensive over the years. Everything has, yes. But the crazy thing is, is that if you were to get a spec similar to, say, either Xander's, theoretically, you're at 60000 right? So $60,000 can get you a Mustang GT Premium, okay? But for $8,000 more, you could go get a base model um, uh, Dark Horse. And in my opinion, $8,000 for the amount of stuff extra that you're getting for a Dark Horse is 1,000% worth it in my opinion. See, I still don't know. I'm still not convinced, okay? Now, my car, $57,000, MSRP, performance package, 400 a so I got the leather, I got the Recaros, I got all of that stuff, right? and I spend $10,000 more for a dark horse, it looks good, but the performance is, is almost the same. Mm -hmm. The suspension is no doubt better in this car, hands down. But I've been able to take some of that savings and put it into my own aftermarket suspension. Correct. And could I get close to this more better? You know? You can absolutely get better than you can. So, um, it, it's possible. It's, it's tough, it's really tough. I, I, I have to leave you with this, because I'm still not convinced either one way or the other. I, I don't know if I could answer it in this video. I'd have to have more time with the car. I don't know which way I would go. And after driving this and loving this experience, I still really like mine, but I really like this too. So I'm not really sure. Now, if I was a really hardcore road racer, I'd probably just go for this because it's got the better Magna ride. It's got stuff like that. I don't really know. I want a dark horse i would love to own this car but i'm happy with mine too because now i've done aftermarket stuff to it to get to this level yep but if we're going apples to apple stock for stock this might hmm. i gotta say that ford you killed it you nailed it ford you did a great job this is not just a mach 1 reskinned this is this feels way better that is correct, but let's also take into account this. Do you want a car great out of the box that you're not gonna have to mod, you're not gonna avoid any warranties, you're not gonna do anything for it and still have a ton of fun with? It depends, you know what I mean? If you wanna leave a car alone, if you're gonna mod a car, GT might obviously Track back. Uh, may absolutely be a better option. It just kinda depends. Dude, the shifts are, I, think I can't get I will the leave you with this, so I'll add this. I think I really screwed up buying the man. Now, I love the manual. Cut, cut, cut. But, this, huh? I said I was going to say cut through there, so you're a four inch. Bro, I know how to drive a <laughs> car. You better hold the damn. You're on a full. Take your seatbelt. You're on and skinny. Do this, <laughs> and do this. The, listen, the first video the Mean Stang Mode collabed on yeah. was a, like a 900 horsepower on a drag pack Whipple Mustang GT when it first came out. And we mm -hmm. were dogging the crap out of it. I know how to drive. <laughs> I may look like a fool on YouTube, but I can drive. I'll tell you this. Do you just hold on there, little buddy? Dang. Have I? <laughs> so do you regret buying your manual over getting a 10-speed? <sighs> Get ready, because here it comes. No. No. <laughs> I'm sticking with it. All right, he said it with his chest I, out. He said no. He I is. said no. I like both. <laughs> Man, that's tough. It's it's really hard. Yeah, I don't know that I can answer that truthfully because I kind of want both. They're so head. different and there's they're better and and there's pros and cons. You know what's to gonna each, happen? No matter what, I'm gonna keep mine and I'm just gonna go buy a 10 speed and I'll have two cars. That's right. And then I'll solve the problem. There you go. That's a whole nother video in itself. 10 speed dark horse or Tremec dark horse. Yep. Oh man, that's tough. It's really tough. It just we just need like eight cars. All spec differently, and we'll be happy. Well, before long, Alex has got Carnage 2.0, and he's gonna have Carnage 3.0. <laughs> he said we're not doing that's it. That's not going. There. No. I don't know, man. Ten speed dark horse, man. The dark horse don't know, but I can tell you as far as the car, the way the car feels, the man, the, the handling. Uh, this is something special. Is it worth it to you? Is it worth it to me? Maybe. Maybe. Fair enough. I mean, stay tuned.
Stay tuned. We're going to spend some more time with the cars, but as of right now, I'm undecided. I really like mine. I really like this. I wish I could own both. Stang mode gets to own both. That's really cool. But, well, the blue one's going away because you can, you can win it. So, again, How do you win it? Alex, how do you win it? On3supply.com, video description. Check out the links. There's a bunch of other coupons and discount codes down there, too, to save money on product and stuff like that. So, definitely always check out every video that I upload for money savings and other cool opportunities like winning a car, for example. You know, really neat. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I like them both. All right, guys. I'm getting out of the passenger seat now because we just wrapped up a review with my buddy Colton. So go check out his channel, link is down below, because I got another perspective of how the car felt from the passenger seat. Now we're gonna include a little bit of post game here. Yeah, I don't know, I'm still a little bit uh, torn between the two, but I gotta say that it's a little bit more impressive in a passenger seat, getting to feel the way the transmission shifts, the sharpness of it. Yes, it's not the fastest thing in the world, but the refinement and the maturity of the car, having grown up from the S550, is why you buy these cars. So, same can be said with like the Mach 1 to the Dark Horse. The refinement, the maturity, the evolution of what was already a great platform into what it is now could be the selling point, the factor in which you decide to make up your mind that the Dark Horse is worth it, or maybe you want to build something to go fast in straight lines, so you look for like a Mustang GT. I'm trying to do both with a Mustang GT, we're going to see how that works, lots of content to come, stay tuned, but as far as Dark Horse, had I had the opportunity to buy one for around MSRP, I would have probably done it, and after just putting some miles on it, I, yeah. I think I would have been happy with it had I made that decision. Unfortunately, they're tough to get. So I'm going to have to be happy with mine. We're going to continue to mod it, do suspension, do all those things, go fast parts as they become available and hopefully tuning soon. But uh, for a factory car with just a couple light mods like exhaust and uh, the catch can is going to do nothing, but it's going to help the engine. But you do get a little bit from the air filters that he's upgraded to. Um, I think it's a great all around package. I'm. I'm very happy with the way that Ford has engineered and developed this uh, dark horse to be a little bit different than everything else out there. And uh, man, what a ride. So guys, stick around. Continue to follow the channel, subscribe down below. It's free, helps us grow. And uh, you get to watch cool content, free content out there. And then sing mode. Uh, I've got Ken back there hiding, HPR, and then uh, my buddy Colton. So anyway, it's just an all-around good time here in New Jersey. We're going to continue having fun with Stang Mode and, uh, and these cars, these amazing cars. But guys, get ready for the next video. Yeah, we're not done. We're just getting started. So I'll see you guys later. God bless. Bye.